and welcome to Detox Bites with me, Sophia. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about one of our original products that we've been stocking for an incredibly long time and um, have been using for a long time as well, which is psyllium husk and psyllium husk powder. So psyllium husk comes from India and it actually is made from the seed of the Plantago avato plant. So psyllium husk is essentially a soluble dietary fiber. When added into water, it swells um, and can actually then swell in the stomach. So people will add it to water and drink it. it will swell in the stomach and can actually help to reduce your appetite and make you feel full. Psyllium husk is often taken in conjunction with um, clays, so if you're doing a detox or doing a diet, um, it can actually help to kind of help move toxins through, so it's also incredibly good for um, helping with bowel issues, so for both if you're a bit blocked up or you're a bit loose, it can kind of regulate your bowel movements and help, to, um, help toxins to sweep out through if you're taking something else alongside it that helps with detoxing. So every 100 grams of psyllium husk actually provides 71 grams of soluble fiber. So if you compare that to say oat bran, it's the same amount, 100 grams of oat bran would contain only five grams of soluble fiber. So you can see how amazing it is as a soluble fiber. I have actually used psyllium husk myself when I went on um, a juice fast. It was a seven day juice fast and it was part of the program. Um, I wouldn't always recommend doing it at home yourself with that, that length of fast. Um, but a guided fast, it's incredibly helpful and I found it was amazing for um, helping to detox my body and it was really helpful in that detoxing process. Um, it has a really innocuous taste, it doesn't really taste of anything at all. It, as I said, it, um, it swells in water, so you do need to, it, say you're put, drinking it with water, you put a tablespoon with a decent amount of water, mix it and drink it quite quickly because otherwise it will turn so gloopy that you can't get it down and it goes a bit like cardboard. The other good thing about psyllium is that it's incredibly versatile and um, in aside from using it in detoxing and dieting, it can also be used in cooking. So it's often used in raw or vegan recipes um, and it's actually really good in gluten-free baking because it can help um, as a binding agent, and that's what you'll find it's often often used for in other vegan recipes as well as a binding agent. Um, yeah, it's good because it doesn't add a flavour. Basically, it's innocuous, so it doesn't. It's not going to change the flavour of anything that you're making. So we stock both a psyllium husk, which is quite a light, fluffy um, consistency, and we also um, stock a more a finer milled psyllium powder. Um, no reason why you would choose one or the other. It's personal preference, absolutely. They are both really good value for money as well. Um, and you can get a lot from them, just like a, a kilo of psyllium husk is an absolutely massive bag and go a really long way. And the psyllium powder um, actually can be used when making like homemade vegan butter. It's almost like working as an emulsifier. So that's also one of the reasons that you might choose the psyllium powder is if you're making those vegan foods where you need something like an emulsifier. As always, you can read more about the benefits of psyllium on our website or do some more research online. Thank you so much for watching. Do take care. Bye. -bye.